Hey everyone, it's Swather and I'm back with a new video. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. You see, I've had quite a few paranormal experiences in my life and I thought I should tell you about them. Now, I'm not really in the business of bullshitting, so everything I tell you is true and not exaggerated. Whether or not it is actually paranormal experiences or something else, that's up to you to decide. Anyway, this is Ghost Stories. This first one happened when I was in primary school, I can't remember what age I was but I had quite a few of my friends over and their mums were over and all basically all the parents were downstairs and all of us kids were upstairs and when we were going downstairs right across from the stairs is a window and it basically just looks out into the front garden and the street and when we were there we saw a well a shadow when we were coming down we saw a shadow on the blinds now this was at night time and we all thought it was one of ours. Now the shadow looked like this. So it was just the head bit. So we all moved our heads to the side like this. And the shadow didn't move. So we checked outside the front to see if it was someone at the front door. There was no one there, no one in the street. And we had no idea who it was. But being kids we just forgot about it and went to get our drinks. However, when we walked back through to go back upstairs again, we noticed the shadow again. And this time, it was different. It wasn't in the position it was from the first time. Instead, the shadow had moved to look like this. The shadow in between us doing that and leaving to get go to the kitchen and coming back had moved to copy our movements. We still don't know what that was and I think most of the others have forgotten about it, but I always try and remember these things. So I don't actually know what that was. It's weird. I think it's a spirit, but I, what do I know? I'm just me. This second story also happened when I was younger. I can't really remember what age, but again, I was in primary school. And I was in my room trying to go to sleep. It was night time, obviously, the curtains and blinds closed. And then a car must have passed by outside and a little bit of light had got in through the top of the blinds, like the very top. And there was a shadow in my room just standing there. Like, just a shadow just standing in the middle of my room of a person. I have no idea who that was. When I asked my parents about it, they said it was probably just a reflection from outside. Like a shadow from someone outside. But for that to happen, that would mean the person was just standing there still in the one position for several seconds till the car passed by and the light would have had to have sh shown up in such a way that it was aiming up and then bending down to get past the curtains. I don't know what it was, I think it was a ghost standing there. Either that or I was going crazy at a very young age. This third and final story is the most active one. And it's still one that sends shivers up my spine and still confuses me as to what actually happened. I think I was just going into high school or just before high school and it was me and my parents were downstairs watching TV. It was night time and my older brother had been away, I think it was at football training or something. So it was just us. And we saw a shadow running past the front window. We then heard the front door getting opened and then slammed shut and someone running up the stairs and down the corridor and then we heard another door opening upstairs and slamming shut and footsteps in the room right above the living room which well that's in my bedroom and then nothing now also we thought it was my brother so my parents shouted on him to see what was wrong before it was upset but there was no reply there was nothing after a couple minutes my dad went upstairs to check and there was no one there. There was no one in my bedroom. There was no one in the other rooms either. It was as if no one had ever came in. Except we'd all saw the shadow and heard the doors getting opened and shut. People and someone running up the stairs and moving about. But no one was there. My brother didn't come home till about an hour or so later from football training or wherever he was. So we still don't know exactly what it was but most likely explanation for me is it was a spirit, which to be honest isn't exactly that far-fetched because my house does seem to have quite a lot of spiritual 
encounters going on in it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the stories and just know that they're all true and I haven't bullshitted any of them. If you'd like me to tell more of the stories that have happened, not all of them happened to me but I know them, then let me know and it might happen in the future. Also, why don't you go down to the comment section and tell me about your paranormal experiences or paranormal experiences that have happened to people you know. I think that'd be interesting, it'd be good to see all the different people who have experienced them and what's happened for you. Anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updated when I make new content and I shall see you later. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Swather and I'm back with a new video. And I'll tell you a few s- God, these would come around and try to film me. Experiences in my life. So, I thought I should tell you some of the things- So, today I thought I would tell- So, yeah. That's the truth, because I'm not in the business of bullshit. So, yeah. Maybe I should just stop filming if I'm buying until after these hiccups go away. Probably the best option.